So we, our objective here is obviously to create a set of drawings, not just one drawing. So we also need to produce elevations for the rest of the building, right? So our front, our back, our two sides, um, which essentially, if you're looking at it in plan, is going to be your north elevation, south elevation, east and west elevation. Um, those are essentially just these views right here. So um, even though we switched from the top view now to the front view, which is what you see here, um, and don't mind my misalignments, I just cut a bunch of random cuts to make it look sort of kind of like your models. It's not the same as your model. Um, so basically it's the same process, except you just need to be aware spatially and visually that you're now doing it from a different view. So when you do it from the front view, it will again take that drawing, flatten it into two dimensions, and now rotate it into the top view perspective. So um, just like I did with the perspective view, it flattened it and put it in the top view. It'll do the same thing with every view that you take. So I'm going to activate the make 2D command. I'm going to select the objects that I want to draw, and I'm going to uh, I can actually just leave all the same settings because it'll just keep putting them onto the same la layers. Um, so I hit OK, and now I've got, if I pull that off to the side, I've got my uh, front elevation. So that's essentially my south elevation, I guess. We can get to it. naming conventions and stuff a little bit later on. Um, but the, you know, when you're doing all of your elevations and your roof plan, it's exactly the same process. There's nothing different about it. So you just do one after the other and you do them all. So the right view, I activate make 2D. I select that, hit, whoops, I selected too much. Um, make 2D, whoops. All right, I can actually select it in the top view because now that I have it in the right view, if I select in the right view, see how it pulls all of my line work with it, because that now I'm looking at it like this, and all that line work is there. Um, I can um, select it in the top view, that's fine, and then activate my right view or click on the right view title. That has to be the active viewport. Hit enter and OK, and then yank it off to the side again for the next one. So the only difference here is that I have to modify my cameras to get my other elevations, right? Because we only have the top and the perspective and the front and right views. So this is just a visibility setting. Some of you have already modified this so far, um, but I usually wait until this to actually introduce it to the whole class because here's where it's actually necessary. We need to switch the front view to the back view, and we need to switch the right view to the left view to make sure that we're getting all sides of this cube. So I go to the front view, and I say set view back, and it flips me around to the other side. So where the elevation used to be this, it is now this. Is that clear? So then I just go through the process of selecting this, make 2D, hit OK, pull it out. And then I go to the right view, change the view to the left. So right click on the uh, view name, go to set view, go to left, select the object. Oops, got to make sure I'm selecting only the object. Oh, that's not what I want. Set view, perspective. Well, that's funny. I'll fix that later. Um, let's see here, top view. Make 2D. Select the object, go to the left view, activate it, hit enter, OK, and yank it out. So now I have all five of the necessary elevation type views that I need for my drawing set immediately. I just, you know, rapid fire created them in a couple minutes. So now that tool is yours. Um, what I would like us to do is get to a point where we've got all of these views ready to go, and then I'm going to show you how you actually do floor plans and sections, and then we're going to take all of the drawings out 
put it into AutoCAD, and process them into a set of drawings. Are there any questions at this point? Yes, there is a way to name the layers. Um, I think that there are two ways. You can go in and create separate layers for each one. So you can say east elevation section or east elevation um, object each, sorry, east elevation object, east elevation hidden, west elevation object, so on and so forth. Yes, you would have to change your layer settings each time. So I would go in here and say, you know, make 2D, and I would change this to East Elevation Object. The other thing is, I think, and I've never tried this before, I'm just guessing now, um, you might actually just be able to type in a layer, and it might just create it. So let's try this. Let's call this East Elevation OBJ. Hit OK, and it even created the, the layer for me right there. So you could rename it every time if you want. And so is this just for elevation? Or is it generic? This particular workflow is just for elevations. We'll get, uh, I'm going to show you next how you actually cut it and do a floor plan. OK, are there any other questions? All right. Yes? Clipping plans or clipping planes? Don't worry about that. We're going to use that in the next segment. Um, that was something I only did as a visibility thing for you to see.